Welcome to Watercolor Lessons with Kathy. I'm Kathy Nichols, and I'm a lifelong artist, painter, and teacher. I help students of all ages tap into their creativity with watercolor. Watercolor is a great way to express yourself, and it's easy to get started and fun to do. I hope you join me to learn how to paint with watercolor. I can't wait to see your paintings. Hello. Today we'll be painting a dragonfly, and they are really beautiful creatures to watch and to paint. And what interests me in them was when I went fishing with my boys when they were young in Montana. The colors were just awesome. Feel free to use this lesson's painting as a model. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint here, and put some water in your palette. Then take your round with pointed tip brush, get it wet, and load with some intense blue. Okay, we'll start with doing the body of the dragonfly, starting with a tail. Working our way up. To the head. And now with the head, I will be making a round shape. Okay. Now we will be doing the wings. I made myself a template and I did half of it. So the they have total four wings. Here's my template with two of the wings, and I'm just going to take, take some of the intense blue and trace it. And then flip it over. To the other side. And trace the template. And lift it up. I'm dipping my brush just with water and spreading the blue.
I'm loading my brush with some of the blue. Spreading the color on this wing. Now there's areas on the wings that the paint is wet and that's when I want to add some sap green to it. So load your round with pointed tip brush with sap green. Now I'm spreading some of the sap green to the next wing. Loading my brush again. It's a little strong, so I'm going to add some water to that and dilute that paint. And spread it away. Loading my brush again. Covering all the areas there. Now if you think there are, are areas that are too dark, you can dab, do some dabbing. That also will give it a little texture. Like that. Now it's time to dry. Okay. Now we will switch to our liner brush. And we will load the brush with some crimson. And I'm starting here on the top wing on the right. Now that's a little too strong. I'm cleaning my brush and just adding water to spread the paint. And I see as I look at this that it's a little dark on this lower wing, so I'm going to fix that. by just adding water to my brush. And 
by doing that, it will lift the paint and then some dabbing. Need to add some more water on it to change it. There, it has a softer touch to it. Now I will work on the lower wing, wing by adding some touch of crimson. And it's too dark, but again, you just rinse your brush out, add some water, and spread that paint. Like so. Okay. Now to work on the other side of the wings. The line is a little light, so I will be taking, loading my brush with intense blue. Now that's a little too strong, but I will fix it with cleaning my brush and having it just water on it. And diluting the paint. And you will, you know, go over the area maybe a couple times. Sometimes once doesn't do it. Like so. If it's always good to do a little dabbing. So now I'm going to loan my liner and do the same thing on the top of this wing here. And I, that line is too thick, so I'm taking my brush and adding some water to lift out some of that line so it's not so thick. And dab it, like so.
Now I'm taking my load your brush with the intense blue and doing the line down below on the second wing here. A little bit too light to add more paint. Now it's too dark, but wet your brush to lift out some of the paint, and it won't be too much. Now I dab it a little. Dab, dab, dab. Like so. Now load your brush with the crimson. Brush is a little bit wet, so I'm drying it. I'm just taking the red I had there and spread it on the wing here. Like so. Loading my brush again. Now I see that that's a little too wet and I don't like how the paint is spreading so I'm going to dab that out and dry again. And try that again. Load your liner with the crimson. Now it's a little too dry, but you can re wet it, wet your brush, and spread the paint. Okay. Gonna dry it again and then work on the body of the dragonfly. Take your liner brush, load it with the with intense blue. Start at the bottom of the tail and add highlights. So there's lighter and darker areas on the tail. those ridges.
Load your brush as needed. Now when I look at a dragonfly, I see they have eyes, so I'm making the shape of the eyes on top of the head here. Seems a little dark to me, so I'm wetting my brush and lifting some of that paint out. Just seems too much of a stark contrast to me. So you can always just wet your brush and lift that paint out. Like so. And then step back and look at your beautiful creature you created. And I am done. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I really did and found it calming. I hope you did too. And please do send me photos of your paintings to the email in the description. To be notified of new videos, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, and hit like. Take care, be safe, and see you soon. Mm -hmm.